Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem is my most anticipated movie of the year other than Dial of Destiny. Huge Indiana Jones fan. Huge Ninja Turtles fan. So, naturally, I was pretty excited about this. And before I get into the review, I just want to give a quick little update here. So, normally I post an Avatar The Last Airbender review every Sunday. Um, I'm moving that review of that episode to Friday. I'm sorry, you guys have to wait a few extra days for that. But it, instead, you're getting an early review of Ninja Turtles. So yes, this movie is not out officially for the rest of the general public to see on August 3rd. I went to an early screening, and I will be talking some spoilers in this review, but I'll keep it mostly non-spoiler since the movie is not officially out there yet. But this was a public screening, so this means that, like, an average Joe like your grandpa could have got a ticket if there was a screening near him so you know I'm not going to uh, I'm not gonna shy away from spoilers but I'll give you warnings before all that so yeah uh, let's get into this movie so as I said this is one of my most anticipated movies of the year I'm a huge Ninja Turtles fan um, I have been since I was a kid I've reviewed all the movies on the channel. I'm in the middle of reviewing multiple shows. In fact, the day after this video goes up, you're going to get a review for uh, another Ninja Turtles show. So, you know, I'm pretty well-versed in Ninja Turtles stuff. I will be talking about it pretty much probably until the end of the year and beyondward. And yeah, I was very excited about this movie for a few reasons. First of all, in terms of movies, we've only had one animated movie and it was not stylized or or uh, really that good and this one seemed to be going a very different direction with the franchise so I was really excited for, for those reasons but really sitting down in the theater and watching this movie I will say I enjoyed this movie I had I had quite a few issues with it though unfortunately none of those being the visuals so let's start there the visuals are all fantastic um, they're wonderfully done. They, you know, I complained about TMNT, the previous Ninja Turtles animated movie, which had a very, how do I say it? It had a very, uh, I'm trying to think of how to put it, had a very cartoony style, not a cartoony style, had a very dark look to it, but it didn't mesh well uh, to make the movie look appealing at all. It just looked really ugly. Where this movie, they, you know, it's in the shadows, it's at night, just like that movie. But they make it stylized enough that it's visually pleasing to look at. It works for the action scenes. Very Spider-Verse adjacent animation style. It's fantastic. Um, the other thing I really liked about this movie, before we get into a lot of my negatives, um, is the voice cast. I really enjoyed, um, I really enjoyed... Ice Cube in particular is Superfly. I thought he was a great villain and the way he could go from being really chill and down to earth with the turtles to really threatening and menacing when he needed to be was really great. Um, and a lot of the voice cast for the turtles and celebrity voices for all the other mutants were really good. Um, they did a great job. The only prob one I had a problem with early at first was Master Splinter because he was voiced by Jackie Chan which if you don't know why that's a problem Jackie Chan is um, Chinese, I believe. He's not actually Japanese. And if you know Ninja Turtles very well, you will know that Ninja Turtles lore, Master Splinter is traditionally Japanese. And so he's not in this version. And I think that works because Jackie Chan's doing the voice. And I appreciate that, actually. It, it does feel kind of lame in that regard though because in this version he's kind of just a rat maybe he is going to be Japanese later on because his, his backstory is kind of brushed aside in this movie a little bit of him just being a rat and stuff and usually maybe they'll tie more of that into other stuff um but yeah I, I so yeah I and the other thing I want to appreciate I guess about this movie before I get into the negatives is this movie did do a lot of new interesting thing to the turtles first of all they feel very much like teenagers they want to be accepted they want to have you know life and things like that and you know and they, they lose most of the fights that they're involved with in this movie because you know they're unexperienced they're not trained well that's something that they should have really done more with in the movie but hey i appreciate that that's something i appreciate that we don't have 
I guess spoilers. We don't have, and these aren't spoilers that'll ruin your movie uh, movie experience, but they're mild spoilers. We don't have the Shredder in this movie. We don't have the Foot Clan. We don't have the Krang. We have hints of maybe that being a thing, but for the most part, we don't have that kind of stuff in this movie. And that's really cool because, you know, I like all those characters and I would like to see their take on these characters. But at the same time, I like we have a new villain who I think is really cool and going to be popular with, you know, turtle fans. And yeah. And also, I thought some of the comedy really worked. Not all of it worked, but I, I did like some of the comedy. Now we'll get into my negatives. So my main problem with this movie is the same issue I have with Mario. Is To me, Mario was so reliant on you already being a fan of this shit. Like, you're like, it just, it just, yeah, they do the backstories. Yeah, they set up the world and stuff. But they also just brush press everything really quickly as if you're like, you are an already a fan, you get it. So if you're not a Ninja Turtles fan, I don't recommend this movie to you at all. If you're not a kid and a Ninja Turtles fan, don't watch this movie. And if you want to watch this movie and get into Ninja Turtles, this is not a good place to start. After you're, after, if you want to watch other things like the 2012 series and see if you like that. And if you like that stuff, then go watch this movie. This is a terrible place to start because, yes, they do the backstory in the movie. Yes, they show you a lot of this stuff. But the main problem with this movie is just, it, it just brushes past everything. There are so many emotional moments with certain characters during the movie that I literally felt nothing because it was literally like two seconds ago they were fighting and now two seconds later they're having a resolution it's just very clunky writing uh, in fact that was my biggest issue with this movie was a lot of the writing because even when there were really funny jokes because there were some really damn funny jokes in this movie that I laughed out loud and the theater laughed out loud and even some of the adults were laughing right not just the kids but a lot of those jokes were hammered into the ground where there's this whole joke about milking people and they literally this is an hour and 40 minute uh hour 40 minute movie and they literally probably bring it up and almost the entire runtime like holy shit it's so irritating uh, at a certain point because it has a great payoff and a great bit to it at, towards the end of the movie but then they don't stop after that great bit and payoff they just keep going with it and it wasn't even that funny to begin with it was just really annoying um but otherwise, I thought that was it was really good, uh, you know, with the with a lot of that stuff. I just, I don't know. I, and I think my other gripes with this movie, I guess we'll go into spoilers, is the ending of this movie. Um, Superfly becomes like this giant mutant and they have to fight a kaiju. And I'm like, okay, that doesn't really feel like Ninja Turtles. And if they were going to do that with Ninja Turtles, maybe do it later into another movie. Not the very first one in this new franchise set up i feel like we need to start small scale and work our way up to some of those things but they didn't do that and i thought well okay and i thought the climax went on a little too long and some of the resolution with like humans helping the turtles and them being seen as heroes i just don't like that uh right now and i say right now because like ninja turtles is almost like what 30 40 years old now it's been around since the fucking 80s right so and this is the start of a new franchise. It's the first movie. I want to see what they're going to do with it. Right now, it doesn't sit with me well because I'm a Ninja Turtle fan. I've grown up with this shit. I know it. I know this thing's in my head. It's supposed to be a certain way. So, in the same way, when Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Rise came out, I was very upset. I don't want to say upset, but not really interested in that show because they changed a lot of things that bothered me but then I started hearing some good things circle back to that show and uh, I really ended up liking and appreciating a lot of the different things that show did and so I feel like this could be the same but Rise the other thing I will say about it is it took time to get there it took time to get to the really unique and different take right for me I, I'm not going to dismiss this so do I like that the turtles are now going to high school and not 
Ninjas in the Shadows? No, but could it be something that grows on me later on? Absolutely, and I'm, I'm I, and I will see how it works. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to say about this movie. I I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten um, because I did like this movie, right? I didn't go out of the theater going, "Oh man, why did I spend my time with this movie? Why did I spend my eight dollars on my ticket?" Right? No, I'm not gonna say that at all. I am gonna say I was disappointed because I wanted this to be. Ninja Turtles version of Into the Spider-Verse and in some ways it was animation wise but and voice acting wise but not so much um, writing wise unfortunately and it just just disappointing as a huge Ninja Turtles fan I do want everybody to check this movie out and be like yeah it's great but it's really not it's kind of a messy movie a good movie but a messy movie and yeah I know a lot of this is sounding very conflicting but that's just because I'm very conflicted about how I feel about this movie it may go lower over time it may go higher over time I'm giving it a 7 out of 10 but it's really in between a 8 and a 6 right now and I really wanted to come out of this movie be like 8 out of 10 even a 9 out of 10 possibly but nope 